because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Take two with Tom Wellen. How are you, mate? Very well, thank you. How are you? Very good. We spoke on Saturday night, but big news. Obviously, you've signed with Lee and Let's Go Management. Then the second bit of news is, well, we kind of knew anyway, but turning over with Will Jones, just how big is that for you, mate? Oh, it's massive. I mean, I think it's the two, the two best in the country at the moment. You've got, you've got the best trainer, you've got the best management company. The next best thing uh, is promotion, so we'll wait and see for that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I believe they'll both take them to the top, so we'll just see what happens. Just got to prove yourself as the best fighter now to go along with that trio. 100%. I mean, obviously, I'm in a stacked stable with O'Hara, Sonny Ali, um, Jordan Perkins, there's a few others, there's loads. So you've got, to, you've got to prove yourself. But I'm in a stable with young, hungry fighters surrounded by that sort of stable. So, yeah, I mean, I'm in a good environment and I believe it will take me to the top. Just on that stable, the environment that you surround yourself in couldn't really be better, could it? It's like one big family. You take your wins, obviously two on Saturday night, but then... I think the whole gym felt that loss with Jordan Perkins. So it's good to know, highs, lows, you've got a good kind of support network around you at all times. Yeah, 100%. We, we win and lose together. I mean, everyone was gutted when Jordan lost. Everyone was absolutely gutted. I mean, there was a few... I mean, me and Hardy were close to tears. There was a few others. O OD felt it, and OD doesn't feel anything usually. He's very emotionless. So, we was, um, yeah, we all felt it. And obviously, the wins as well, we was absolutely... We was we thrive off of that sort of thing, and we love it. And it's nice to know that you're in that sort, you're in that environment. It's nice to know that you have that support network when you, when you go anywhere up and down the country. Yourself, then, you got the manager, you got the trainer, promoter. Has there been any talks yet? Yeah, there's been talks. Um, it's it's to be confirmed. It's to be announced. So we'll, we'll see. But um, obviously, the talk is not done yet. There's still a lot of things to do. Still a lot of things to talk about. But um, it's the next thing to come. From what I've heard, you're a man in demand. So, a few big fish swimming about, looking for Welland in their stable? Uh, yeah, there's a few big fish looking for Welland in their stable. But, um, listen, it's got to be right for me as well. It's, good to, it, it's lovely to know that people want me in their stable. It's lovely to see that they're all after me. But um, it's got to be right for me. And if it's not right for me, then it, it won't work. So, that's the thing that we're, we're just getting, getting our red rounds at the moment and making sure that the deal's right, um, making sure that that journey is the right thing to do. So much time, you're still so young. Is it a case of slow and steady, make sure you choose the right route and you don't want to rush down anything? Yeah, definitely. 100% it's slow and steady. I mean, I mean, realistically, if, it would have been, if I'd have turned over a year later, it wouldn't have made any difference. So um, there's no, there is absolutely no rush. And the fact that there is no rush means I can sit down and think about my decisions a lot, a lot more carefully. I know you went out to the Philippines, done a training camp over there. I think I saw on one of Lee's posts that you still might end up boxing for the Philippines once after you've turned pro. Is that the case? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, no door's ever shut. Um, so we, we'll have to wait and see. But right now, I'm still with the Olympic squad. I'm still in contact with them. Obviously, I'm not training with them, but I'm still in contact. Um, if anything comes up, then 100%, then I'll probably go back. But we'll see what, what happens when that comes. We see the likes of Ramler Ali and Keyshawn Davis turn over and then fight in the Olympics last time out. Is that still an ambition of yours to make that squad? 100%. Obviously, if I, didn't, if I couldn't do that, then I wouldn't have turned over because obviously the Olympics is the end goal. I mean, it's, it's, it'd be lovely to do the Olympics, but obviously it's been done before. I mean, a lot of the Filipinos, Jimmy Martial, John Marvin, a few others that have gone back and have done pro and they've come back as an amateur. So obviously it's, it's been done before. So obviously it's not out of the question, but um, if that comes, then it comes. If not, then not. From everyone I've spoke to and from the time I've seen you spar, you suit the pros though. Your style is made for the pros. Do you think that you'll be delivering big knockouts, big performances from the start? Yeah, I think from, from the word go, I'll be delivering big performances, um, selling loads of tickets, bringing people to fights, um, really expressing myself in the, in the boxing ring. I do think that from the start, I will be delivering big performances and I can, I can confidently say that from the word go that I will do that. We'll see 
you've got the personalities of like O'Hara in the gym, Thomas Galbraith, and then you've got the kind of quieter ones in Sonny Liston Ali and Jordan Perkis. What are you going to be like? You're going to be a loud mouth in the press conferences? Um, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to give away too much just yet, <laughs> so, um, but we'll wait and see. Obviously, your own personality, you don't just base your personality off of someone else, you always got to be yourself. Um, I'm not one to go out of my way to trash talk or be a, a loud personality, but if it's coming my way, I'm more than happy to give it back. So if that is the case, then I'll give it back. If not, I'm more, more than happy to be humble as well. I'm sure Will and Lee will be your mouthpieces anyway. They, they ain't going to hold back. Yeah, I mean, definitely Lee. Lee loves it. Lee, <laughs> Lee loves it. Will, Will not so much. Will's, Will, Will's very humble. He doesn't like to get involved. But um, to a certain extent, I don't like to get involved either. But if it's coming my way, then I'm more than happy to give it back. What are you, 18 now, 19, 18, 18 yeah? yeah? So five years' time, you'll be 23. What is the perfect world? What is Tom Wellen doing into, at the age of 23? At the age of 23, I'm hoping to have a British, a Commonwealth, a European, maybe even looking at something bigger. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see how the journey starts. We'll see what the, how the journey gets going from, from the world go. But obviously, you need the right promotion, you need the right... You need the right environment around you to do that. So we'll, we'll wait and see. But in an ideal world, you're looking at big opportunities at the age of 23. There's so many prospects turning over now from the UK. There's so much promise. But what makes you stand out? What makes you different? Why are you going to rise above the rest and become the cream of the crop? Because I bring big performances. That's the reason why everyone else, everyone else just cruises through it. They're quite happy to nick four rounds here and there. Quite happy to nick six rounds here and there. I don't want to go the distance. I'll be knocking people out. Like, I'll be stopping people. There's no, there's no two ways about it, and that's what will separate me from the rest. Excellent, Tom. Thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV, and I'm sure we'll catch back up when you've got that promotional deal sorted. Thank you very much. because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Like the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 